Hi, this is John Donilon with 212 Creative, and uh, we've been reading and studying a lot about the new trending chat GTP and decided that we wanted to put it to the test to see how great a job it could do in writing a little bit of code for us. So what we did was we took a simple WordPress plugin task that we do all the time. This is not a difficult task by any stretch. But we wanted to see if chat GTP was up to the task of writing the code for a WordPress plugin and if that code indeed would work if we put that into WordPress. So um, I'm going to share that with you now. Okay, so if you take a look here, I am uh, going to type this in a simple query into chat GTP. And basically what I need to do is I need to create a WordPress plugin that's going to create a custom post type called professional. We need uh, custom taxonomies on this post type. Taxonomies are state and expertise. And we also need to add an additional custom field for website URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. And let's see what ChatGTP has to say. Okay, I see it's spitting out some code here. Basic structure is correct for a WordPress plugin. It's chugging right along, and this code actually looks pretty good. Oh, what happened here? It just quit. We've got good code. The code looks solid for the most part, um, but it came to a screeching halt. So let me go ahead and say um, something I'm going to say, why did you stop writing the code? Oh, it actually apologized for an incomplete response and is kicking some more out here. It looks like it started completely over. And it again came to a halt. So I'm going to try changing. Let's see, did it stop at the same spot? Pretty much. So I'm going to try a different question. Can you continue where you left off? Oh, look at that. So it actually continued from the point that it left off. And it's continuing to write the code from there. And this is pretty cool, actually. And it stopped again. Now, keep in mind, this is a, a free chat GTP account. So it's subject to the load on the, the AI engine. So if it, if the AI engine becomes overloaded at any point in time, a paying, you know, people with paid accounts is going to take precedent over people with the free accounts. So I think I just have to keep asking it to continue. It's still writing the code a heck of a lot faster than I could write it. But it does keep stopping. I went ahead and just asked the question, why do you keep stopping? And the AI apologized again, and it continued writing the code, and it did get all the way to the add action at the end, and then gave me a little bit of instruction here. So it did get to the end. Now, what I have to do, what I discovered I have to do here is piece these things together. It actually did continue exactly where it left off. So I've got to piece these things together. So what I'm going to do is piece together all this code, put it into a PHP file, and then I'm going to actually attempt to bring it into a WordPress website and see how it works. Okay, so I've managed to get all of the code to
together into a single document, even though the code was broken up. It wasn't difficult to put it together. Um, and I put it into a single file, a single file um, that I've named for a PHP with a PHP extension. Okay, so I've uploaded the plugin into my plugin directory on WordPress. Now I'm going to, I'm logged into the site. This is a basic installation of WordPress. There's nothing really installed in here at all. I'm going to go into plugins. And I see that I do have my custom professionals post or a plugin. It actually created a description. I did not change that at all. I didn't go through adding uh, my name or anything like that. But this is exactly as it was written by ChatGTP. I'm going to activate it. Let's see what it does. All right, so the plugin is active. And I do see that there is a new post type here called Professionals. That's exactly what I was trying to do. And if I click on Add New, I see I can add a title. I could add a description. I see my custom field for website URL. And I see my custom taxonomies over here, state and expertise. So there you have it. The custom post type did exactly what it was supposed to do. Overall, I would have to say that this test was successful. ChatGTP wrote a usable WordPress plugin that probably would have taken uh, the better part of an hour, hour and a half to write. Um, ChatGTP created that in a matter of seconds. So very impressive.